And then your character does the most stupid thing ever. Not sure how he expected to survive this. The soul stone burns with hell fire as an eerie red glow blurs your vision. Fresh blood flows into your eyes and you begin to hear the tormented whispers of the damned. You have done what you knew must be done. The essence of Diablo is contained for now. You pray that you have become strong enough to contain the demon and keep him at bay. Although you have been fortified by your quest, you can still feel him clawing his way up from the dark recesses of your soul. Fighting to retain control, your thoughts turn toward the ancient mystic lands of the Far East. Perhaps there, beyond the desolate wastes of Aranach, you will find an answer. Or perhaps, salvation. So wait, are, are you Diablo now? Diablo is uh, pretty much like any other demon in the the lore. Um, it, they require a host to um, be in Sanctuary, the world of the living. And yeah, like these demons like... Giant battle, heaven on earth, no, not heaven on earth, he uh, heaven and hell are fighting, and um, they can't die, essentially, and um, so they keep fighting for eternity, and even if they die in sanctuary, they don't die permanently, they just keep coming back, but the only way that they can come back is if they possess a body. Now, in the case of Diablo uh, and his brothers, um, and it was revealed to be like a, a conspiracy plot and all that stuff, but um, Mephisto, Bale, and Diablo, they got imprisoned by the Horadrim, which are a clan of super wizards who, uh, with the help of Tyriel, the angel, uh, managed to capture the the, um, the the demons into um, soul stones, and soul stones is the giant shard that you saw uh, jabbing your character's forehead with. And the thing is that um, while they were battling Diablo, while the Horadrim were battling Diablo. Kind of similar with the, what happened with Mephisto, uh, not Mephisto, but Bale. The um, the Soul Stone got d um, damaged. In the case of Bale, the Soul Stone uh, basically got broken in many pieces. And they took the biggest piece to conceal the soul of Bale to imprison him. Instead of coming back to hell and then coming back and forth. So if you prison them in a, a, a Soul Stone, then they're in prison. They can't do anything. But that one was broken, so um, Tal Rasha, a Horadrim at the time, decided to... Um, actually, he did it on his chest. He stuck the, 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 the shard in his chest and tried to contain the demon for eternity. And that's what you do in Diablo II uh, in Lud Gulim, trying to find the tomb of Tal Rasha. Um, in the case of Diablo, it just got cracked. And uh, so his essence, while in prison, his essence was able to seep through. And um, what they did, surviving, uh, Diablo was like the last demon of like, to be imprisoned. I think the first one was Mephisto, and then Baal, and then uh, Diablo was last. And the remaining surviving Herodrim basically decided to build a monastery... Uh, and bury the, the, the shard, or the, it was basically the soul stone, it wasn't a shard, it was the soul stone, however damaged it may be, 
deep within like the, the bottom is uh, closest to like furthest down in I was gonna say hell but it wasn't really hell that at then as deep as possible underneath the sanctuary not the sanctuary but the, the monastery and uh, over the years you know um, This a, a, a town was kind of built around the monastery, and then the story about Diablo and stuff like that got forgotten. Uh, Deckard Cain was the last of the Hardrim because he was basically taught by his parents, more specifically his mother. But at a young age, Deckard Cain really didn't care about this, these stories. He didn't believe them. Kind of like Leia does uh, in Diablo 3. She just like thinks that Deckard Cain's a crazy old man. So he thought that his mother was kind of crazy. And even the villagers didn't really appreciate um, the services that his mother was telling the town folks. It was basically just folklore at that point. Um, so, yeah. So because the the soul stone got damaged the uh, Diablo's soul was able to seep through and he was able to try to um, take over the mind of King Lyric who was the monarchy of um, that kingdom and I think it was the kingdom of Westmarch but I could be mistaken because Westmarch is a um, not too far from Tristram yeah, I think it was the king of uh, Westmarch. In any case, not the king of Westmarch, but the whole kingdom. And um, in order to do that, he had to convince the king to come closer. And uh, he did that through the Archbishop Lazarus. And uh, couldn't get control of King Lyric, but he managed to get him go mad. Um, but what really tipped the scale for the uh, King Lyric was the fact that he learned that his son was um, coaxed into following uh, Archbishop Lazarus deep into the monastery and his son like um, Albrecht Prince Albrecht got basically possessed by Diablo so um, Lazarus, based, I think Lazarus convinced Ogbrek or mind controlled him somehow to stab himself with the um, the soul stone, kind of like what you did in the end uh, once after you killed Diablo. So um, then he became King, uh, Al Prince Albrecht became Diablo. Didn't know that at the time, but uh, King Lyric uh, got crazy and started to ki kill everyone who suspected him, or he suspected everyone to be against him, so uh, he killed everyone. So, yeah, that's basically the gist of it. So now, um, and there's a reason why um, Ogden, the innkeeper in, in Tristram, says the first line, the very first line he says to you when you play the game is, thank goodness you've returned, because you've been here before. Uh, you are, and this was established in Diablo 3, you are uh, an heir to the throne. You're actually the son of King Lyric. You're Aiden, named in Diablo 3, because in Diablo 1 and 2, you're just the unnamed guy, right? Actually, in Diablo 2, you're the wanderer. In Diablo 1, you're just the dude, the hero. So, but yeah, your name is Aiden, and you go basically kill, technically, your brother, uh, and then you shove that crystal in your forehead, and then you wander east because Diablo is seeping into your mind, and he's trying to free his own brothers. And that's why, um, if you look at a map, let me find a map. I mean, I really, I really want to uh, give you guys a little bit more backstory of uh, sanctuary sanctuary come on map Diablo wiki will that give you yes alright that's perfect can I zoom in I can
cannot. All right, that will be a backup map then. I want a really big image. Yeah, that's a big image. Sweet. Okay, cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stream the uh, window capture. I'm going to call it Safari, I guess. And um, BAM! Excuse me. So what happens here is the map of Sanctuary. The world that Diablo or the universe of the game Diablo. So what happens is I can't point to you with a cursor, um, but I guess I could point to you with a uh, um, another window, I guess. Windows full screen. Yeah, I'll, I'll put another window. This is going to be my cursor because you can't see my cursor. But uh, this little, whoops. This little thing here is my cursor. Can you see that? Okay, so we're here. Game screen is the cursor. So we're here in Tristram, right? And there's a West March. So the King Lyric got convinced by the Archbishop to go all the way to here and establish a uh, manor for some reason. And King Lyric was a little confused, but he trusts his advisor, right? And um, then you get stabbed in the forehead with, you know, Diablo's Soul Stone. And you're going east, always to the east. So you go to the monastery. And that's the introduction to Diablo 2, where you have that cinematic, you're in a bar, uh, people are drinking, having fun. Uh, um, and then you start, you, you, you show up and you try to sit down and you shake your sword and everybody laughs at you and stuff like that. And then you turn the entire thing into like a firing pit of hell. And then you move on. Right, and then you're in Lugulem. While by while that happens, player starts and he's there with the rogue encampment and trying to find problem with like uh, Blood Raven, the monastery, and and Dariel, kill and Dariel. Over here, your your Diablo one character, Diablo, is over here in Lugulem trying to um, find his brother, uh, Bale. which you don't fight until the expansion. But anyways, he's there trying to find the tomb of Tal Russia. And then from there on, you move to Karast. So basically, they captured the the, um, the Horadrum with the aid of Tyriel. They captured um, Mephisto first in Karast, who is, I think, the eldest of the brothers. And then they went to Lugglam, captured uh, Bale, their shard got destroyed, or broken in pieces, and blah, 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 Tal Rasha, and then Tristram, they captured Diablo. Tristram didn't exist back then, but whatever. So that's the path that you take, so you're always going east with Diablo. And in Diablo 2, your main character is following your character from Diablo 1, essentially. And I don't want to necessarily talk about Diablo 3, because even though a lot of people have played it, not I was going to say like it's still a fairly new game, essentially, so I'm not going to spoil anything for those who have, not, who have yet to play it, even though if you're not interested, I'm, I'm going to save that for another day. But essentially, you go uh, Diablo 1, Diablo 2, and then 
Diablo 3, you start... Well, technically, you, you start here again. You start in Tristram. And then you go to Chaldeum. And then you go here. Mount Ariat. Which is Acts 5 for... Um, Diablo 2. That's X3 right now. And then X4, something happens. And in X5, you're here. It's awesome. Anyways, my favorite video game series of all time. So. I thought I'd share.